well. Looking very fetching this morning. You sleep well? Oh, yes. I just love spending the night here. Makes me feel more like one of the family. You are part of the family. You disgust me! <laughs> you want a woman? Why don't you go see if my little baby sister will oblige? J.R., you just pushed all the right buttons. Ever since we met, it's been like a game. And now, finally, one of us won. Well, it wasn't exactly the Olympics. First time I saw you, I could tell. You always get what you want. <laughs> well, I try. So, the real JR has finally come home. James thinks I'm putting on weight. What do you think? I think you're a conniving little bitch. Call me her name. Damn. Well, I'm feeling better every second. Is there anything I can do for you? I think so. Well, if he seeks affection, and sex somewhere else, then why shouldn't I? And why shouldn't you? I'm married. Aren't we all? I wish we were both back in college. And there was no JR. what we started a long time ago in France. And if you haven't had sex with Miss Leslie Stewart, it means the lady doesn't want you. Not that you haven't tried. You might be losing your touch. I don't want you anymore, JR. I know. me to sleep with Cliff, do you? Could mean a lot of money to you. I have done everything for you. You what do you mean you've done everything? Did you sleep with him? You are so full of yourself. When I hired you, I hired you because I thought you'd be the best at running Harwood Oil. And if I had wanted a package that included sex, I would have hired your brother Bobby. I hope you can live on the memory for a long time, because that, Marilee, was the last time that you and I will ever be partners in any endeavor, professional or personal. I don't need your money. I won't miss your body. You own 25% of Harwood Oil. I'm Harwood Oil. That gives you 25% of me. If the other night was 25%, I'd tell you, I just can't wait to collect the next 75 Get your hands off me. Holly, that's dumb. You arrogant pig. Sex in return for freeing Clayton. Well, that's kind of crude. You might find it a rewarding experience. You bastard. Why go worse? Don't touch me. I can't stand you. Come on, darling. You care for Clayton a lot more than you despise me. A little sex to clinch to deal. You're trying to do to me what I was hoping Jack would be doing to you. Hawaii. You call the guys, you tell them the game is off tonight. Anybody who shows up by mistake, I break their legs. No reason for you to wait, honey. You could have had West Star. You could have had me. What a pity. There is one dotted line that you'll have to sign on first. Now, isn't my money good enough for you? Your money is only the second best thing about you. Come to Merrily, JR. I'm not through with you yet. Do you have 
any time for a social life? Very little. Well, in that case, um, you don't want to waste it. Are you asking me for a date? Not exactly. Good. When I want a date, I like to do the asking. Yeah, of course I would. Well, then go on in the house and throw Sue Ellen over your shoulder and carry her the hell off the house for Just tell me that you want me. Sue Ellen? Hmm? This is the last straw. Worked like a charm, didn't it? What the hell? Well, at least now I know how you have been spending your time. Losers tend to flock together. Mm-hmm. Like the little lady you're with. You can have my leftovers. Man, I haven't felt like this in years. Hmm. Oh, Jay. You make a fool of yourself with that tramp at the oil barons, and all you can say is so? She's no tramp. So Dallas's renowned stud has been smitten. From now on, when you and your girlfriend are in bed together, I want you to remember how I look. How I feel. Because everything you'll be doing with her, I'll be doing the same thing with someone else. Could you stop that? What the hell is that all about? Just cooling you off, JR. I don't want you to confuse the way I act in public with what happens right here. I miss you, Sue Ellen. I'll be damned if you can come in here and use me like some kind of stud service. What other possible use would I have for you? All I want to do is give me the same kind of attention that you gave that college boy. If it helps, you can think of him, right? Please, Jim, please. Oh. I know what you like. And I'm sure that wasn't it. There's a magic between us, Sue Ellen. I know that, and so do you. Maybe you can accept something less, but I can't. In the past, I took it for granted. I'll never do that again. I just met your child, Bride. What junior high school were you cruising this time? J.R., you got that little girl in your bed by telling her that I was a drunk, a cheat, and I neglected my child. That's true, darling. I ask anybody here. Oh, J.R. It just keeps getting better. And better. And better. I'd sure hurt up. 